Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video. Today I'm going to be giving you my first performance review on my channel. But before I get to that, I want to make two big shoutouts, one to Rye Fizzy and one to Shoe Exclusive 12. They're both making some pretty good reviews. Their channel links will be in the description, so check them out after this video. The shoe we're going to be reviewing today, as you can see, is the Nike Hyperdunk. Colorway is Volt and Gorge Green, my usual size 13. Suggested retail, $140. I did pay below that, though. So here's the shoe, guys. This is the 2012 Hyperdunk Brazil colorway. Um, it's a really nice-looking shoe, which features your mainly Volt color, which is, it's really not doing... The camera is not doing this justice. It's a crazy bright color. With your uh, gorge green accents on the swoosh and the uh, tongue. So let's get into the review. First thing we're going to take a look at is the traction. I'll have to be honest with you guys, the first time I saw this, I was like, what is Nike thinking? The traction pattern is extremely spread out, extremely flat, not a lot of depth to it as you can see. Uh, I did not think it would perform well, especially on a dusty court, but I was extremely wrong. This is one of the better traction shoes that I have in my basketball collection. Um, the multi-directional circular pattern you have here is great when you're cutting and changing directions. You have a targeted, circu uh, targeted circular traction on the ball of your forefoot as well, on, as well as your heel. The middle of the shoe does not have much traction, but you don't really need any there, so that's okay. And you can see the traction extends to the side of the shoe for making very sharp and fast cuts. So we're going to take a look at the cushioning. This shoe does feature targeted Lunar Lawn as the, mean, as the main source of cushioning. As you can see, Lunar Lawn foam runs all the way across here. It is a very comfortable form of cushioning, and I would really recommend playing in these. The only downside is Lunar Lawn does break down, so it is not the most durable shoe. In the insole, it's just your regular uh, Nike padded insole, nothing special. It's pretty thin, actually but I'd give these an 8 out of 10 for comfort. Now onto a stability and lockdown of the shoe. I felt this shoe kept your foot contained very well. There is no sliding or slipping around. Uh, some of the technologies that the shoe features in far as, keep, as far as keeping your foot stable are flywire on both the medial and lateral sides of the shoe. What this does, if you don't know, is when you tighten the laces the flywire is connected to the laces, so it also tightens with it, giving your entire foot a lockdown feel. On the outsole, you can see a shank plate there to prevent rollage or uh, unnatural bending of your foot. On the back, you have a hard plastic heel cup, which keeps your foot in place. Uh, this shoe kept you very in place. You were not sliding at all, so I'll give it a 9 out of 10 for stability and lockdown. Next up we have durability. This is not durability in terms of how the shoe looks. This is only durability in terms of how the shoe holds itself together. I've had these and have been playing in them regularly for about 8 months and they are still in great shape. The only signs of wear are a bit of dirt on the toe box which is to be expected with a light color like this and some creasing on the lunar lawn which you can barely even see which is also to be expected with lunar lawn cushioning. Uh, Hyperfuse, which is the main upper material, is extremely durable and will last you for literally years and is never going to break unless you do something pretty crazy to it. The midsole, which is lunar long cushioning, as I mentioned before, will break down eventually, except still is a fairly durable foam. The mesh on the ankle and under the flywire is also extremely durable. This is not going to be ripping or anything. The flywire if you get stepped on the side of the foot enough times, the flywire will rip. So that's the only issue I have with durability on this shoe. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Last off, we have breathability. Personally, I could care less when purchasing a basketball shoe about how breathable it is. But for you guys who do take breathability into uh, consideration when purchasing your basketball shoe, um, I felt this breathe very well. As you can see, you have your completely meshed tongue mesh on both sides 
as well as a mesh hole in the ankle. And just to show you how breathable this is, I'm going to film the inside of the shoe. You can see how much light is coming in from all the mesh, just to show you. Uh, I'd give this a 10 out of 10 for breathability. I don't really take that into account when purchasing shoes, but uh, for you guys that do, this is a great, great shoe for breathability. Um, in terms of where to purchase this, you can get these at Nike outlets now for 70 or $80, which is a crazy price for a shoe this good. Just, this is a great shoe. Go get this if you need a new basketball shoe. Uh, in terms of the review, that's pretty much it. Please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.